Ashton sent me this story from the New York Post. Now, if y'all don't remember, I did a video last month called the Shader Sisters in which they were two sisters out of New York who was involved with throwing Molotov cocktails. I think it actually ignited a police vehicle, but nobody was in it. Well, this is one of the sisters right here. This is Samantha Shader, and she just released a statement in which she gave her reasoning as to why she threw the Molotov cocktail. And it doesn't surprise me the reasoning that she gave. She's only trying to save her own ass. So the reason she gave that she threw that Molotov cocktail is because allegedly a group of black people made her do it. But it's been documented that she and her sister have had run-ins with the police before. It's even documented that they don't like the police and they drove from another location that was further away from where they actually did it and committed the act but black people made her do it <laughs> let me get into this soon after allegedly hurling a flaming molotov cocktail at an nypd van full of cops at a george floyd pro protest a white upstate woman claimed a trio of black strangers as in three made her do it but the accused cop hater samantha shader age 27 of the catskills actually drove to brooklyn with her sister in a car loaded with empty glass bottles including the bullet risky bottle she is charged with throwing at the van on may 30th a call on tape shader admitted to throwing the molotov cocktail but claimed she was approached on the street and given the bottle by a black male who was in a group with one of other black males and a black woman she even described the trio saying the man who handed her the bottle was a quote unquote thicker guy with hair in skinny dreads or different of different colors. <laughs> the typical description. The other man was smaller and wore a hat and the woman was thin with poofy hair and a ponytail. Why does it sound like she was trying to describe some kind of black militia group? That's how it's almost like she was trying to describe it. Shader stated that the man who handed her the bottle told her that they were going to prove a point and Shader stated that she felt important at the time and she took the bottle because she was the only white person in the area. No, she wasn't. She was with her sister. So that completely debunks that and I doubt they were the only black people in the area. I mean, white people there too. The flung bottle shattered the park van's rear two windows but failed to ignite because Shader had used toilet paper instead of a rag as a fuse. That shows how dumb she is. The details of Shader's alleged trip south in a car stocked with bottles and bad intentions were included in the indictment of her pal and newly accused accomplice Tim Ammerman, 29, a painter and guitar player. I found a few more glass bottles than I thought I had, though still not many. Wish I had more, he wrote. Be safe. Good luck. Love, Tim. Ammerman's fingerprints are on the note and he admits it was his. Both pals have posted anti-cop memes and insults on Facebook. Shader has posted that black people should be allowed to burn down the country they built for free on May 27th. Emmerman posted riots do work and call cops tax collectors with guns, wife beaters and murderers. Then the night his whiskey bottle was allegedly tossed at the NYPD van, he boasted to another Facebook user that he contemplated joining in a ride to NYC to get saucy. Instead, I kitted out some others he allegedly wrote. Ammerman is being held in Albany until he can be brought to Brooklyn to face charges of conspiracy to commit civil disorder. His lawyer did not respond to a request for comment. Shader faces up to life in prison on explosive and arson charges. I say go ahead and give it to her. Not knowing this and how she just came up with this story and said that black people gave her the bottle and told her to do it. But, you know, that had to have gone out the window because <laughs> she came from upstate down to that area with a car full of bottles that happened to match the one that she allegedly had got from this trio of black people. And then she didn't even have it set right. That's why the thing didn't ignite. So it didn't ignite on her own stupidity. So those cops were actually very lucky that night when she did that. But Yet again, it's another day you got to blame a black person for allegedly getting in your head and making you do all of these things. See, this is what they're trying to do with the whole, quote unquote, whatever, what Terry Crews has said with the black supremacy thing that somehow we are making them do and act the way that they do. 
amazing how they keep trying to turn the tables. 